Hi, um, not that I'm any sort of expert, but realizing that I'm building wood burners, um, one of the things that you have to know is flue draft. Um, so I've tried a couple of different things to try and figure out how to measure the flue draft, um, and here they are. So the first is a normal water manometer, completely useless. Um, it can't measure small enough values. And you get the oil fill type, which is now no longer allowed as a gas safe or um, used on gas. But they are there and they're also pretty much useless. And the next thing is you have your um, flue gas analyzer that also has two inputs for differential pressure. They also are pretty much useless. They don't have, they're not fine enough. So the only other option is to get one of these things. This is um, a manometer, air manometer. Um, that's, that'll measure small enough values inside there. I don't know if you can see, but inside there there's a little bead little bead. All it is is it looks like a little piece of polystyrene at a guess um, and um, that is enough that's um, light enough to be able to be um, used to measure the flu. This one is a Dwyer M60 air meter but then you get the M60M, which the, when I bought this, they didn't tell me over the phone, this one's Imperial. The 460M is metric, which being in England would have been a much better idea. But anyway, the sales guy, uh, Dwyer, didn't know the difference, so I ended up with an Imperial one, which is fine, I suppose. Because um, it measures in Pascal, and that's what um, one wants. Um, the wood burner that I've got here... Um, you can see it's got a pipe on the side, that's my outside air, um, and in my flue I've got a hole in the side here. So if I'm measuring, if this was a um, room sealed, I know a room sealed, if this was a um, conventional wood burner that was um, using the air in the room, all you needed to do was put the one pipe in there, they give you a little um, tube, metal tube that will go into one melt, and that will give you your draft. If you have an outside air, um, a fire that uses outside air, then obviously you now need to measure across your fire, opposed to in between your room and your flue, you now have to measure between your inlet and your outlet on your fire. And I guess, I think that's the best way to do it. I suppose you could run a pipe outside as well, but if you read the instructions, they give you maximum distances that this thing will operate at, the hose length. I'll give you maximum hose length distances that this thing is allowed to operate at. So I would imagine that would not be viable um, in a lot of instances. So just over the fire, um, being between the inlet and the outlet to give you a draft. Hope that's some of some help. Cheers guys.